How to Take Care of Labrador Puppies Labrador puppies are a ball of fun. They are playful, cute, and always enjoy the company of children and adults. Labradors are not demanding dogs. They make ideal pets that are our amazing companion dogs that are always ready to follow their owner everywhere. If you are bringing a Labrador puppy home this article is for you. We'll be firstly taking a look at the origin of the Labrador breed, where they come from, and also look at their personal needs for them to grow healthy and strong. Where do Labradors originate from? The Labrador breed of dog is originally from Newfoundland. They were later bred in the UK as hunting gun dogs. They are bred for their ability to retrieve their friendly nature, and their ability to dominate field trials. A fully grown Labrador is a large dog that lives for 12 to 13 years. Labradors are heavy dogs and weigh 80 pounds when fully grown. Female Labradors weigh about 20 kilos less. Labradors come in three main colors I, dotty golden, yellow, chocolate, and black. Labradors have thick tails that are flat at the base and tapering at the edge. Labradors have a short dense coat, nutritional needs, and how to feed a Labrador. Labradors have a varying diet depending on the age of the puppy. Dogs of 0 to 45 days survive only on milk and this potion is either offered by the dog's mother or you will have to feed the dog yourself using a milk bottle of roughly 100 milliliters twice to thrice a day. At 2 to 6 months Labrador puppies are able to eat started dry food. Choose a brand of puppy food that is rich in the nutrition that puppies need. What alternative food can you feed your puppy other than kibble? There are a number of types of healthy dog food that you can feed your dog other than kibble. These foods can be meats, veg, and cooked food. Let's take a look at some of these foods that you can feed your dog. How to choose the right food for your dog. The correct food for your puppy should take up all its nutritional needs and ensure the health of your pet. Look out for good quality food that has the nutritional benefits for your dog printed on it. Look for dog food that has a nutritional protein value of 90% and above. Such food should also contain proteins and minerals. Buy food that is healthy and balanced for your puppy's health. Feeding your puppy in his crate. The crate is the home for your puppy in the first few months of its life. Your puppy plays and grows older in its crate. Feeding your puppy in its crate increases its attachment to its living space. When feeding your puppy in its crate, ensure that you have put the food all the way to the back of the crate. Remove any obstructions from the crate like toys and blankets that may get dirty by spills from your puppy's bowl. Choosing the proper food and water bowls. Choose a food and water bowl for your puppy that is heavy and does not move around. Ensure that your puppy has separate bowls for food and water. Plastic bowls are an inexpensive option for your puppy bowl. You can also use ceramic bowls that are heavy, so they don't move around much, and are easy to clean. Stainless steel bowls are also good as they do not break and are easy to rinse, keeping your puppy at the proper weight. Labrador puppies love to eat and for this reason, may become overweight quite easily. Ensure that you feed your puppy only twice a day with nutritious meals that are rich in all the various nutrients. Do not overfeed your puppy. A puppy needs only 150 grams of food per sitting. Do not feed your puppy if it is asking for food between meals. Labrador puppies are known to be voracious eaters. If you love this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.